All right, guys, so if you want to send beautiful emails, automate your marketing and segment your audience all without breaking the bank, in this video, I'll walk you through exactly how to do all of that using Brevo step by step. So whether you are running a small business or managing email campaigns for clients, Brevo can be the game changer if you know how to use it rightly. Now, starting off with the first on our list, how to set up a basic email campaign. Let's get into it. So the campaign section is where you are allowed to create a campaign. This is where you can create, manage and track your email, SMS, WhatsApp and even web push marketing campaigns. You want to go ahead and select the email type. So once you are here, go ahead and give your um, campaign a name. So for me, I'm just going to give this campaign, um, you know, demo for YouTube because I'm teaching you guys right here on how to use um, Brevo to start sending your email campaign. So click on demo for YouTube, click on create a campaign. And next thing I want to do is you can see Brevo makes it much more easier for you to get started with your campaign and successfully start sending your campaign. So all you need to do right now is just go ahead and choose the sender that will be sent sending your email campaign. So what sender would be sending your email campaign? For me, you can click on manage a sender where this is where you're going to be seeing your sender address. And for you to add a new sender address, you can go ahead and click on add a new sender. Very easy. You can have multiple senders rightly on Brevo where you can rotate your sender for each and every of your email marketing campaigns. So for me, I'm going to leave this on default. Okay. And you can see there is a small preview box that shows you how the message is going to look like on your audience or on your contact um, device. Now go ahead and click on your name. You can actually change this um, to something. Your name should be, let's say for me, I'm going to use my real name. And for you, it can be anything at all. So once you've been able to do that, now go a little bit down, click on save right here. Okay. And now you want to go ahead and choose your recipient. So you can see for yourself that for this um, email campaign, I'm going to be having over 338 recipients. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on save. And right here, once I do click on save, the next thing I have to do is to go ahead and choose a subject or write in a subject. So super thing about Brevo is that you're going to be having a preview of how your subject line and message body is going to be looking like on your contact device. So quickly, let me go ahead and input my subject line. So right here, I'm not just going to paste in my subject line and you can see what it says going live now. And right here, you can see what it looks like. It says going live now. Okay, the preview test, you can just put in something here. Now you can see what it's looking like. So now the next thing we have to do is to go over to the next stage, which is where we're going to be writing our email purge. So quiet and click on start designing. And right here, because Brevo is just so amazing, we have quite a number of templates that you can work with. So you can choose any template that's going to be fitting your email message. But for me, I love going with the simple one where um, I just have to write it from scratch all by myself. So I can go and click on use template. Okay, so click on use template and right here, just want to go ahead and start writing everything you want to write in. So quickly, let me go ahead and show you guys how to do it. Now, if you want to go ahead and write a text or a title, let's start, um, let's start with the title first. So you can just go ahead and drag um, this here and you can put it into the box. So you can see I have this already written here and I can also edit it by probably making this look much more unique or looking much more better by having the test alignment right here and you can see what it looks like. So everything you have to do is you have to make use of these boxes here to make sure that you are designing a very good looking email body. Now, the next thing you want to do from here is you want to go ahead and um, grab the text section, just drag and drop and fit it under here. All right. And right here, you can just proceed by writing anything you want to write. Now, very good. So you can see what my looks like. Very simple and very easy to do. All right. So let's just pretend that we are done writing our emails. Now, if you want to proceed by adding personalization to your email, it's very simple. Now, right, you can see where I have mine. I have DA and the next thing I want followed is the contact first name, right? Now, you can do that by coming over to this place that says, you can see this little, um, you know, will I use the word bracket option here that says add variable. Click on this one and that all you need to do is go ahead and choose which attributes you would like to insert. So for me, I will go ahead and click on contact attribute. And from contact attribute, all I have to do is to go ahead and choose the attribute I want to input. So you can see I have their first name, I have their job title, their last name, their LinkedIn profile, and some other details. So I love working with the first name. So automatically, all right, 
click on insert so automatically brevo is going to be adding their first name okay to the emails when sending out As you can see it's very easy and very simple for you to work with brevo very easy and very super with how they work with personalization now once you are done with all of these things trust me you can add as many many attributes as you want to just make sure that you are writing the right message to the right people. So once done, you can go ahead and click on this one that says preview and test. Okay, let's go ahead and try it out what it looks like. So click on preview and test. So once you are here, all you have to do is to go ahead and look at what your message is going to look like. Okay, and you can also change the formatting from here. Now you can also do something that says send text email automatically. Brevo is going to be sending you a text email directly to your inbox so you can see what the message body looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and click on send text email and I'm right here. I'm just going to impute myself, okay, as the receiver of those emails. Then I'm going to click on send the text and let's see what happens. So you can see that the text email has been sent. Quickly, let's go over to our Gmail account and see whether we receive a text email from Brevo. And right here, guys, you can see that we have the text email being sent by Brevo. Quickly, let me open this up and show you guys what it looks like. All right. So you can see what we've been able to do with Brevo. So if you actually want to do some editing, you can go ahead and make some editing to your emails. But for me, I think I love the way it is. Now, going back to my dashboard, I'm going to cancel this. All right. And I'm going to click on save and quit. Now, very good. So once you are here, the last thing you want to pay attention to is the additional settings. And right here, just go ahead and click on edit settings. Now, this is actually much more advanced. So if you don't know anything to do here, please don't just alter anything and leave everything on default because trust me, Brevo is working at the best for you. So I don't think I need to do anything right here. I love the way everything is and the way everything has been programmed by Brevo. For you, if you want some advanced features, you can come here and select anything you want to work with. So let me go ahead and click on cancel all of these. All right. And now you can see that we are done with creating our email campaign. Now we can schedule our campaigns by clicking on schedule. And the next thing you have to do is to choose how you want to send. Would you like to send your campaigns right now? Would you want to schedule for later? Or better still, would you want to send at best time? And this is going to be Brevo using their AI tool to help you choose the best time to send your email campaigns. So once you've been able to do all of these, congratulations, you can proceed with sending your campaign or you can schedule for some other time. All right. Now let's move over to the next thing I want to share with you concerning Brevo. All right. So the next thing I would like to teach you how to do is how to create automations right here on Brevo. Now go ahead and click on automations as you can see right here. Click on automations. Now you want to choose um, this one that says create an automation. Click on it. And right now you can see we have quite a number of automations that you can set up directly from Brevo. But now the most simple one to do is this one that says welcome message. And I think this is one you should pay attention to because if you can do this, you should be able to do for other ones too. Now click on welcome message. And right here, what you want to do is to click on create automation. So now just go ahead and click on let's go. All right. Now, the first thing you want to do is you can see here by yourself, we have the contact added to list. People are going to be added to your list. And the next thing they're going to be receiving from you is an automated message. And that is the work of automation. You don't have to do it yourself. You don't have to manually start sending every new subscriber of yours emails. Brevo automatically is going to be helping you send those emails out as you have been able to build them right here. Now, go ahead and choose on for me i love two days gap then i'm going to click on next so once next has been set it up already now you want to choose the email you want to send to them so for me i'm just going to allow this be my default and i'm going to click on save so quickly i'm just going to click on use those design in automations and once i'm done with that so right here, you can see the simple automation we've been able to build. You don't have to do the work manually again. Brevo helps to do all of it. So once you've been able to create your own automations, you can go ahead and click on activate automation. So if I click on activate automation and that is it, guys, you can see we have our automations already activated. Now, if you want to go and um, check it out, you can come back here to automations and you can see it here that we have the active button, which means that our automation is live. Very easy and very simple to do. And right again, one super thing I want you to know about Brevo is the origin segmentation ability. So in Brevo, you can group your contact based on shared characteristics. So you can send more relevant and personalized emails. Now, instead of you blasting the same message to your entire list, segmentation while you're on Brevo allows you to tailor your content to specific groups. Like people who have recently made a purchase, opened an email, clicked a link or live in a certain location. Now, this 
approach helps you create engaging content for them. Now, because people are more likely to respond to emails that feels like they were just made for them. In Brevo, segment are dynamic, meaning that they update automatically as your content behaviors or data change. Now, which is a huge advantage for maintaining an organized and effective email strategy. Now, for example, now imagine you run a fitness brand. You could create a segment for new subscribers who haven't bought anything yet and send them a welcome offer. At the same time, you could also have another segment of loyal customers who have bought more than twice and you can send them exclusive content or loyalty rewards brevo allows you set up the segment using filters like purchase activity email behavior contact attribute and even tags it's a simple but powerful way to turn one big audience into smaller high performing groups so which leads to a better email result and a more personalized brand experience and you can have access to all of this right here on brevo all right and that's it guys we've been able to walk through how to set up a basic email campaign build simple automations and segment your audience inside bravo now these are the core building blocks for email marketing and once you get all of this right everything else becomes much more easier and even more effective. So in my next video with Brevo, I'm going to be going deeper into so many other features you need to know about Brevo. Things like WhatsApp automation, SMS and every other thing like that. So if you found this video helpful, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel right now, turn on the bell notification so you don't miss what is coming next. If you have any question about Brevo or email marketing in general, you can let me know in the comment section below and I will personally go ahead and reply to every of your messages. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video with Brevo. Bye.